Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do The Ambassadors, issue number three. Mark Millar and Travis Cherest is, um, you know, are the creators. Um, every comic is, has a new artist. Travis Cherest is actually a good one. Uh, but I also believe that he's using some 3 d images in this book, but that's a guess. Well, it's not really a guess, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, for those <clears throat> sorry, for those who are not familiar with this, um, small recap is more that a, a Korean woman is, has some kind of a technological race against her ex-husband, right, who is also in that same race and... She was the first one that developed superpowers with, I know, just the push of a button. And now she's giving those powers to different people around the world. You know, one one country, one superhero, if you will, right? The first one was interesting, the first book. The second one, I didn't like it at all. Um, and I had also a lot of problems with this one. So we're going to dive right in. Um, and we'll see what this is all about. So... Um, so we start here in Paris. Um, like I said, the art is really good, uh, I must say. Um, a lot of detail. Um, uh, and this, I believe this is hand-drawn, but it looks great. There's a lot of, lot of things going on. But anyway, so this is a woman talking here. And she has a son called Jean-Luc. He was a loner. And uh, she's divorced. And um, it seems that he has been become rebellious, right? He, he, she doesn't understand him uh, at all. Uh, uh, her ex-husband is, is, is some kind of a revolutionary filmmaker and founder of something, something. Uh, so he's in the spotlight all the time. Um, my son was named after my husband's idol, Jean-Luc Godard. But I'm afraid he never lives up to our high hopes. He doesn't get picked by the jocks at school. He's get beaten up by Warhammer kids. I like that. Um, normally, it's, it's could be the other way around. If you were a nerd, I mean, I was a nerd back in the day. They all pick on me, and I was getting beat up uh, when I was younger because, you know, I like comic books and superheroes, which is, you know, not really popular in where I come from. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little bit weird to see. Um, she says, he keeps, an anim he keeps an enemies list that runs 200s, and I found a plan to murder his classmates with guns. He's been sourcing on the dark web. Oh, God. And she's confronting him, and he's denying. He says, Jesus, Mom, I was just having fun. Yeah, these guys pissed me off, but I'm not a psycho. I just designed these little assault plans to get me through the day. Really? That's, that's what normal people are doing, you know, doing traps and murders plans? I don't think so. Anyway, so, um, and she is, um, I worry Jean-Luc has no respect for other human beings. I worry he has no respect for me. When I check his history, he's been Googling his father. I'm just a receptionist in a big hotel and can't even buy him the clothes he wants. But if I was a superhero, if you let me be part of this team you're building, he might respect me like he respects his dad. <laughs> I have no money, no status and nothing to talk him about. Make me into one of your ambassadors and I could be fine to be a role model for him. Yeah, that works. But anyway, so it's um, the founder of this ambassador program is here on this, uh, well, unfinished building. You know what it's like to have a difficult ex-husband. That's what she's writing to her because she is, yeah, have an, an ex-husband that's... Well, there's a story for issue one and two, if you want to check it out. So, later, uh, they're having a meal, right? And she says, hey, um, those ambassador program, do you hear about it? You know, they, said they do some campaigns on, on TV. And he says, uh, well, yeah, that's BS. Even if it's true, you're more change, uh, you have more cha uh, sh chance. You have a more uh, luck of winning the lotto. That's what he's trying to say. But she is saying, hey, uh, watch your mouth. This is not appropriate, right? And um, he says, nobody gets anywhere with a negative attitude. Oh, right, because your light turned out so great. Now, and then she says, hey, um, listen to me. And turn the clock, hands to midnight, and see what happens. I've got something amazing to show you. So, okay. So he says, well, it's completely retarded. I mean, I'm so over snotty, bratty kids in comics and even in, in media, you know, movies, TV shows, it's not fun. 
It's absolutely not fun to read these brats. You probably mostly rooting for the other guys to beat him up again. Um, anyway, but then something happens. Uh, part of the house is sliding away, and then doing this. I don't know Batman and Robin stuff going down, and then. Uh, well, they are here in this, well, ginormous hangar. And uh, she says, this is the secret uh, headquarters. Yeah, we're 200 feet beneath Porte de la Chapelle, standing in the middle of a billion uh, euros in high-tech hardware. There's a lot of light here. This is where uh, I've been crime-finding since I wrote to Chung Hee Chung, and she selected me to be codenamed Franz. Now, I don't know what is with modern comics, but every time we are in a building or a house, everything is black. Um, like there is, I don't know, they're running out of energy to light up the place or something. Uh, it really uh, irritates me. Now, it's not here very prevalent. This is okay. But some lights here and there would be nice to, you know, highlight some some bits. But that, that's just me. So she's changing into, I don't know, Captain Franz or something. Or she's codenamed Franz. And um, she says that she has a smart band that down, um, allowed her to download powers from the, I don't know, power bank at the South Pole, strength speed, karate expert, x-ray vision. And she says, I can download three powers at a time. This is one of my, my main problems, by the way. Um, and... Um, so she says, I've been using the detective app to investigate a dual heist at Place Vendome last week. And she said, I, I don't know what to say. This is crazy. So she says, don't worry. I got you one too. I said, oh, shit. And he turns it to Robin. <laughs> Language, please. Now, this is, I'm 100% sure these are 3D models. Um, it looks a little bit too clean, if you want. I like clean art, but I know that um, when somebody is drawing art, and you know, um, you know, you can see it in these stairs as well. Uh, here, I'm 100% I'm sure this is 3D images. Um, if not, leave a comment below and, and challenge me, bro. <laughs> um, so she says, "Hey, if you want to join me, I don't expect you to fight, but you can, you know, be standby and all that stuff." And so they're going to the Batmobile, and his code name is Paris. Uh -huh. Get it, Paris, because they are in. France. <laughs> anyway, so uh, um, she, so she, they're going to where I don't know. She picked some kind of a trans, trans. Uh, how do you say? Uh, transmission, and then they tracked him to some outskirts. Um, anyway, so she's using the 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 car, um, and then it has a camo function, right? And also has some kind of autopilot. Uh, and I download arachnid mode and flee agility. So basically, she is transferring to the reader, hey, if you have a button, you can change it everything you want, every time, without any effort, without any skill, without any training, you, you just be it, instant. And you, try, you probably already know where I'm going with this, right? So... Um, so the kid says, how am I doing this? I can't even jump at uh, the beam at school. You're not doing anything. It's the smart band. There's actually over 50 superpowers we can access with this, but we plenty. Uh, we have plenty of time to try them all. Now follow me and be ready if you need be. So there she, so she's downloading some kind of a, I don't know, martial arts training, and then they can do it, right? <laughs> and... Um, so they are shooting, and but she says, "Well, they cannot hurt me because, wow! Incidentally, I have an electromagnetic aura that means essentially bulletproof. They are bulletproof when wearing the vest. How convenient, right?" So she says, "Hey, uh, you want to try on the fight apps?" And uh, she says, "Yeah, try to stop me." And then we have this Batman's looking stuff, and I mean that is amusing, right? And um, but coming back to that a little bit later. And, uh, and then she uses telekinesis. Do you have training for that? Do you know how telekinesis work? Nope, you don't have to because the, the app, the app can do it all, right? And she says, what's, he says, what's going on with the paint and brushes? Just a little touch I used to like in those old superhero cartoons. Basically, she's doing, I don't know, a Batman and a Spider-Man, right? Like uh, 
from your frame, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man um, and locked him up or something in French. Um, I, I think that that's I like that you know a little bit goofiness around that. But so basically, she is like I say, sending to the reader to me that they having fun, but it's actually not really the case. If I'm looking at facial expressions, body language, uh, they do not crack jokes. They are just pretty serious overall. But she's using you know oh wait we have a cameo here and we we can change everything with powers and then we have this over the top uh, you know cartoony style of of you know fighting with the biff and the pow and the smash you know that's not and, and also you know this you know a little bit hey we are we having fun with this that's that's the translation but but it's not and um so this this young guy is pretty um you know all accepting it all at once or something um, we fought a jewel robbery, man, and we going be, we're going to be all over the internet. And uh, she says, well, it's just the starters. I'm tuning into emergency channels, and there's a fire at a Picasso, and um, the, the ladders aren't reaching. What can we do if the five firefighters can reach them? Well, no problem, because with one push of a button, the car will transform itself into some kind of a flying car, you know, like in Marvel Shields, you know, the shield cars, Nick Fury always you know, smoking cigars in this convertible. And they are, um, speaking of all the black, right? Normally Paris is very lit, very light. The, the, somebody turn off the, the power of electricity. It seems it's all black. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, that is, like I said, what modern comics are doing with backgrounds. It's all black. I don't know why. Anyway, so... Um, so the mother says to her son, said, hey, download telekinesis so you can pick them up. And I'm using flight and fireproof functions. How convenient that it's all that, right? Oh, my God. So easy. And um, so she comes in and she says, I couldn't fly. And it seems that there's some kind of restriction. It only works if you are 18 and up. And then you can access flight and plasma beams, which... the. I, I, I mean, do you think that if you are 18, that is this the same as, I don't know, getting a driver's license? I mean, flights, plasma beams, you know, plasma beams that can actually kill people. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's a risk if you're giving that to a 20, 20 mid-20s guy and, you know, because no responsibility and, and shooting is fun and Call of Duty and all that sh shit, and, right? But, you know... Well, if you are 18, you can have those deadly power blasts that you always wanted, just like in the comics. Am I right? Uh, anyway, um, so they are, um, you know, doing this, right? And then um, she says, oh, no, what's the matter? So there's uh, some kind of a train problem. Um, the brakes are failing. And she says, um, I tried to rescue the passengers carriers. You put yourself between train and station. Got it. No fear, no questions, just, yeah, let's do this like we always do. I don't know, although this is the first time. I mean, come on, man. This is just, this is... All right. So she's coming in and she says uh, to the people that, I don't know if they understand them, don't be scared, I'm just disconnecting the guys from the runaway engine. Jean-Luc, are you in position? Uh, he calmly says, well, I'm lowering the car now and downloading mathematician, math engineer, and racing driver functions. How how does a young kid know what to do, right? Is there some kind of a manual for every situation that automatically pops on in their visor or something? It's just well, if you have a if you have a I don't know a fire, then maybe you should put fireproof clothes on it, uh, stuff like that. I mean, where does it come from? How does he know that? Anyway, um, so she says, and this is an interesting one. Gravity and telekinesis would have been better, but another ambassador is using them right now for a rescue mission in Pakistan. Oh, wait a minute. So you're telling me that uh, I believe there are now four, three or four people having these powers, I guess, um, in the whole world. So that means if you are want to have flight and somebody's using that before you, you cannot use flight, although you are maybe in a situation that you need flight. So wait a minute. So what if, what if, you know, this guy is starting blast them and you want to say, well, I want to get my electromagnetic aura and click, click, click. Oh no, somebody in the Netherlands, that's my country, somebody in the Netherlands just using that particular power. You would be dead. 
right? Because there is no electromagnetic aura to, to, to you know, deflect the bullets. This BS. This, this, uh. So, and then it seems that this car can also transform into something, I don't know, else to, to, so she's doing a Superman, right? And then, then pushing and pushing. And um, he says, I climb out and give you a hand. Well, this, I don't know, train is, I don't know, running for 200 miles per hour or something. Yeah, you just do that, right? <laughs> like I said, no fear at all. Um, I mean, this looks great, but like I said, pretty sure there's some 3D models used in this, some 3D images. Could be wrong, but yeah. Um, I mean, I like the heroic stuff, don't get me wrong, but there's so much, so much things that doesn't add up, right? So, um, did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Oh, Jean-Luc, I'm so proud of you, she says. Then, uh, in the last issue, this guy killed a bunch of soldiers, and this drunk guy says, well, Monsieur Jamy, it looks like you're not the only super person in the world anymore. What do you think of all your new friends out there? I see dead people. Okay, so I guess... Uh, the 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 ex-husband of this Korean woman is you know probably maybe also in, inventing superpowers, giving it to psychopaths or something for whatever reasons. Anyway, so the explanation is now a little bit weird uh, how she is getting her powers because so it seems that it was not her. Um, I mean she is. I mean the the Korean woman here, Chun Chi something something that I forgot. Um, she said. Um, basically that, well, I'm, I'm so happy that your relationship with your son is, is good, but it wasn't your email that prompted me to pick you as an ambassador of France. For France, it was Jean-Luc's emails three days earlier. And he says, he told us you were the best mother in the world about the sacrifice you made for him every day and how never once badmouthed his father, even when you had a good reason. He said you were lonely and he did a little bit fun, a little fun. So he asked us to make you a superhero. Just like that. <laughs> so, and then just like in the last issue, right? Um, this this woman working for Jin Sung Chung, the guy, right? And uh, uh, you want to make her an offer. So she's still working at this this hotel, right? So also the, the woman says he loves you so much. He's just as an age. He has a hard time showing it, and if you ever thought he was going to hurt someone, well, you couldn't be more wrong. I look forward to see you both at the big official launch. Warmest regards, code name Korea. So, yeah, I'm not sure how this, uh, you know, if they are becoming the enemy. Not sure, but, you know, she's making the offer. We're probably going to see that in the next coming issues or not. Then we see Jean-Luc pulling a gun. And throwing it away and says, yay, I'm a superhero now. So, wait a minute. Does that mean, does that mean, does that mean, come on, that he wants to murder his classmates for real? And, and now he's not doing any that anymore because somehow he grew a conscience? And is that is that how you you... How you get superpowers just be because somebody's feeling bad and sad and having a pity party. And then you don't do, I don't know, screenings, like psycho, uh, psychic evaluations. You just, just, oh, no. Um, well, um, my mother is doing very well and, and she's a very good person. Let's give her superpowers, right? And then he becomes a superhero, although he just, I don't know, probably wants to kill his classmate if that wasn't happening. Oh my God, this, ah, I don't know, man, this is not good at all. I mean, I'm so irritated. First of all, you know, with the, with the powers, the instant powers, no training, right? And then this pretty snotty brat is, is I don't know, um, say, is now becoming a superhero. And, and you think that's got to be all fine and dandy just because he's becoming a superhero. His mom is a superhero now. I, I, I know that the message is that he, he is proud of his mom and all that stuff, right? I get that, but it it didn't show at all in the comic. It didn't show that he has, I don't know, uh, respect for his mother because he's cursing all the time, right? He's all saying, oh, it's so bullshit and retarded, right? Uh, I mean, that is not showing respect and love for your mother because if you would do that, you wouldn't use that language at all. So, yeah, I, I don't think this is a good comic. 
for now. I mean, there's 60 issues. We're going to have the rest of them too. Uh, unless things are changing, I'm not recommending this at all. Probably, well, probably you already, already have it if you are you know, interested in this, this one, but because I'm a little bit behind with all, with all of this. Anyway, um, I'm stopped rambling. Uh, see you on the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.